entrance into the hike. Uh, we left at Rendezvous Creek parking entrance and continued through. 1 p.m. when we got out of the car and packed. Um, this morning I was a little bit more disorganized, delaying the trip by 10 minutes. I packed a lot of food in there and I packed a lot of extra gear, so it be interesting to see what weight I ended up carrying in total. The biggest peeve is leaving my anchor battery at home charging because I was in such a rush. So, lesson learned. The forecast tonight is going to be zero degrees. And already I've forgotten my second sleeping bag to help with the cold. The more senior hikers among us has brought their winter sleeping bag. So it's definitely something I need to start investing in soon because of how cold it will get during the nights. This time around I did bring extra clothes for sleeping. I had my normal thermal long sleeve but I have a fleece jumper a long cotton pants, two extra socks, and a beanie and a balaclava. Hopefully that will help me keep warm. And if I still get cold, brought 10, sorry, seven peppermint tea. It has no caffeine in it. So that way, if I do get cold during the night, I still have to put a pot of tea to myself. And that'll help me just move back into sleep. It's a mixture of opinions on whether you become an ultralight gear user or you maintain the light weight and accept if you keep focusing so much on the weight I start moot, missing the daylights to actually go out on a hike. Which I think is interesting to see as you get older to appreciate that. Because the ultralight opinion is of a 16 year old, the lightweight opinion is of a 45 year old. Bit of bias. I think it will definitely be an interesting view and perspective with this group. There's six of us in total, and two of us under the age of 30. Today is only 10 kilometers, so is tomorrow, so it's not going to be too strenuous. No actual bush bashing, so. The need of the gators isn't necessary for this walk, but I still have them on.
had our just a small break. Should be able to hit our 10k mark. Probably about 40 minutes to our camp. Time now it is three o'clock in the dark, so expecting to be able to settle in in a cozy hour or so. Three thirty-five. Good pace. A slowly change of scenery, vegetation. It's a lot more. This is the grass. Tree lines emerging. The grass area. Yeah. Oh, sheep tip. Sorry, yeah. So, um, but they used to have things like arsenic and cyanide in there. Yeah. So that's why they've closed them all off. Yeah, right. I'm sure there'd be residue off in there. Oh yeah. And there used to be apple trees growing around a lot of them. And we used to think that was great. We'd go and pick the apples and one day somebody said, you know, some of the water going up through those roots that used to be in that sheep tip. Everyone's already starting to look at places for them to set up tent. Water tank and an outhouse. This looks like a good spot. All right, I'm just about to set up my tent. Just cleared out the area, got rid of some sticks, and um, this should be fun. One of these. This camping trip again. One of these. Ideally, I should have brought an extra sleeping bag, but it's a lesson learned. This is the Adventure Ridge from Aldi. This is the inside. So if we put this closest to the wall, you can see it barely fits a second person. Barely. Look at the foot space at the end. I think it's a bit of a joke when they suggest that it's a two person tent. It's a very tight two person tent, but it's definitely one person in their pack. This is my OC to Summit Ultra Seal 13 litre bag in this bag. Um, I like the colour because, for emergency reasons, it's very easy to spot in the bush. Um, 13 litre is actually for my clothes. And I'll be actually using this wrapped in one of my, in this jacket actually, it's my pillow. Having this for my lunch, I need a quick snack before dinner. It's only 4.30. Tent set up, sleeping bag and um, 
so you can add that set up. Suppressor. It's the hottest um, salami from the Coles Deli and cream cheese. Little fancy bag holder. Gonna have a look for my survival pouch, which is this. So I have mentioned this survival pouch in another video. So it contains my first aid kit, fire starting, the ferro rod and a whistle, water purification, sanitary, yeah. Alright, I have sharpened this knife, but it's unfortunate the only thing I'll be using it for is to spread cheese. And this is the 95% fat free, so I'm not going to use the blade so much as the back. Yeah. And I can use this for my banana pills now, my rubbish bag. Very comfortable. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> What's this? Chocolate. Chocolate. I won't say no to chocolate. I'm a very big fan. It's <laughs> always going to be the rest. I never say no to chocolate. Yeah. Well, I've, I had to get in first, um, um, Michael, because. Uh, it does give you the good, like, you, lean uh, back support. Very kind yep. I definitely appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. One thing that you're lacking when you're sitting on a stool. That's right. Well, I have melted. Oh, it's good. I, I, I saw a couple I of um, guys from the last one having um, just a really tiny stool about this big. Uh, big enough for maybe a big teddy bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that quite. The music? <laughs> Twice cooked, isn't that all the fashion and stuff? Yes, yes. Oh, I'm not too surprised. It's still quite a big... Area. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's long, but it's not particularly broad. So this is the Mac Pack Micro Light. Mac Pack Micro Light. Yeah, right. Very cool. This is Michael and his son's tent. Looks like. Yeah, right. Is it three person or? Um, two, but it's big enough. I mean, three people is not really good. Yeah. So same thing with two people. Yeah. yeah, we have quilts, so they're kind of like, they don't actually cover on the back, yeah, but 
they are lighter. This is 600 grams and this is 400 grams. And they're winter? Like, what, what's their This range? one's a winter one, negative 4 degrees, and mine's 4 degrees. Yeah, right. And your sleeping pads? Yep. Um, this one's a, an X bed, mine's a Cedar Summit. The John Cedar Summit is that um, the like the a insulated winter? one. The it's insulated. not a wind. Uh, well, they don't really have like a really insulated one because yeah. it's mainly for Australian. But they're both around the insulation level of like three, which is uh, enough to go down to like negative five ish. Yeah, right. And the and the down sleeping bags. Yep. Uh, what are they? Or where are they from? Uh, they're both. These are both Cedar Summit. Cedar That's Summit. Right. Yeah. Right. And nice, and they're not too expensive. This is like 360, and it's like 260. Yeah, right. I didn't even realize. I have the summer version of the sleeping pad, and okay. um, yeah, yeah. Uh, a six degree sleeping pad as a uh, sleeping bag as well. So, I don't know. We'll see how we go with tonight. But I have a couple of thermals on me, oh, so yeah. it should be yeah. fine. We 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 uh, took both of the Ember ones as kind of version two. We should be alright. It's got down to negative five and we were it was pretty cold. Just with the four degree then. But I guess it helps that you're sleeping in the same tent, so you're generating enough heat between the two of you. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Ah. Oh. It's the second one I've seen. Different design though. And this is a four season or just the three? Yeah, yeah, right. This is a Mont Moon Dance One single man tent. It's quite narrow but tall, so it's big enough to Neil Arthon. It's an interesting guide system on the side here. Hmm. So I did get permission prior to doing this. This is the view in the front of my tent. It's going to be interesting because as soon as that sun goes down that way, it's going to be very cold very quickly. So, just gotten changed into my thermals, my fleece jumper, and my beanie, switched it out. Uh, I'm going to join the group and uh, have some dinner. And I'll just film it from there. So, for dinner tonight, I have Moroccan medley couscous with original beef jerky and dehydrated peas. I'll just go from there. Yeah. Beef jerky, dehydrated peas, and couscous medley.
we have them in Commonwealth Park and it is nine seventeen PM. Um yeah, we sat in the hut. Um, they had a the fireplace, talked about music, talked about fire management. Uh, enjoyed a bit of hot chocolate with them. I was really reluctant to leave the hut because it's going to be very, very cold tonight. Um, and silly me, I do have my sleeping bag, but this is a very thin summer sleeping bag and it's going to be zero degrees, so... It'll be trip three that I still maintain being cold. We're in the process of going into winter. I really need to up my game on my... on having better gear, understanding my body. This time around I have actually brought, so underneath my sports jacket I have my fleece hoodie. Underneath that is my thermals. And then I'm wearing my cotton um, long slacks and sports ankle socks as well as thick socks to go over the top of it. I know that my feet get the coldest, followed by my lower back, then followed by the rest of my body because, of course, the lower back is in the area of my core. Um, what else? I didn't need to use the soy squeeze this time around, um, but we weren't going the distance, so it was potentially a place that I could have saved weight. I think my choice in meal this time has been a lot lighter. Um, no tins. I did repackage up quite a lot of the food, such as the beef jerky um, and my crisps. I might have overpacked my crisps, so if there's anything left over that will definitely go into my go bag for RFS. And can't complain, I always have. I'm always happy to have extra food that's there. But having said that, it is winter, there's no fire season left so it might just be worthwhile to eat it when I can. It's four in the morning and I'm making myself tea, wearing nearly every single piece of my clothing to keep warm. I didn't get to sleep till about 1am, however I did go to watch. Thank you.